This is a two-dimensional statics problem. Please watch the video on linear algebra first. A 113-pound vertical force is balanced by two unknown forces, F1 and F2. The angles of F1 and F2 are known. The rectangular components of F1 can be visualized. The rectangular components of F2 can be visualized. This is a statics problem where the horizontal and vertical forces balance. This is the horizontal force balance equation. This is the vertical force balance equation. These two equations are rewritten so that F1 and F2 appear in certain locations. These locations will facilitate us writing the matrix equation. Notice how the matrix equation is related to the two equations above it. This is a 2 by 2 matrix. We will name it C. This is a 2 by 1 matrix. We will name it E. This is a 2 by 1 matrix containing the unknown forces. We will name it D. We now have one matrix equation, C times D equals E. Now solve this equation for D. Multiply on the left by C inverse. C inverse times C is the identity matrix. The identity matrix multiplied by D is D, which contains both unknowns, F1 and F2. All of this is pencil and paper work. Now's time for the calculator. 40 stored into variable A, 15 is stored into variable B, 113 is stored into variable W. Enter the C matrix exactly as shown here. Square bracket indicates matrix, comma separates elements, semicolon separates rows. Enter the E matrix and solve for the D vector, which is C inverse multiplied by E. Force 1 is 133 pounds, and force 2 is 106 pounds. Let's review our strategy. We wrote all of this on paper. No numbers were written, except the given angles and the weight. Three numbers were stored into the calculator variables A, B, and W. Trig functions filled the C matrix. Column vector E was created. Vector D was computed, which contains the unknowns F1 and F2. Some beginning students are tempted to do it a different way. Accurately writing all these numbers on paper is very difficult. And this method is so error prone that it's unlikely to produce the correct final answers.